In this video, we are going to check whether the unit step function is a energy signal or power signal. So, see the question here, check energy and power of unit step signal that means you need to check for energy and power of unit step signal. You know unit step signal will be like this, so it is equivalent to 1, so this is u of t with respect to t continuous unit step I want to consider here. So now, so this is equivalent to 1 from 0 to infinity. So here by observing the signal itself you can say that is a infinite duration signal then whatever equations that you want to consider for calculating energy or power that you need to consider in infinite duration only. Why because? So, infinity is included in the definition of signal that means, so it is continuous from 0 to infinity. So, we can say that is an infinite duration signal coming to the definition. So, for u of t, u of t is equal to 1 when t greater than or equal to 0, 0 when t less than 0. This is the definition of unit step signal. So, that means t greater than or equal to 0 means up to infinity that is equal to 1. So, now whatever it may be based on this you can say this is infinite, infinite duration signal, infinite duration. So, now for infinite duration if you want to calculate energy then energy formula is equal to, so here limit t tending to infinity minus t to t x square of t dt. This is the formula to calculate the energy of the signal. So, here a uh, previous classes we considered energy of the signal, we did not consider any limit t tending to infinity. Why? Because there the signal is finite duration. Here the signal is in infinite duration. That is why we need to consider limit t tending to infinity minus t to t x square of t dt. Now, I am going to substitute the values. So, here I need to consider limit t tending to infinity, limit t tending to infinity integral minus t to t means we need to see the limits of the signal. The limit started from 0 and end may end at infinity. So, 0 to infinity x square of t, your signal value is equal to 1 from 0 to greater than any value that means 0 to infinity this value is equal to 1, x of t value is equal to 1 as we are squaring that signal in that integral. So, I am considering 1 square dt. So, here limit t tending to infinity. So, here if you want to consider for example, in a particular interval if you want to consider then no problem. So, if you want to consider only at t even though you consider at t, you are going to get t is equal to infinity only. If you can see here limit t tending to infinity 1 square dt means so 1 only 1 integration is t. So, if you apply limits here you are going to get infinity only infinity minus 0 you are going to get infinity only. So, here you are going to get infinity energy for unit step signal. So, this is a energy signal or not then definitely this cannot be energy signal uh, definitely in this step you cannot say that is a power signal. If you got energy equal to infinity, in that case you cannot say definitely this is a power signal. Sometimes, so a signal neither energy signal nor power signal also. So, definitely you need to calculate power also to justify whether that is energy signal or power signal or neither energy nor power signal. So, now by observing this as I got infinite energy, so this is not said to be an energy signal to become uh, an energy signal, a signal must be of finite energy. So, but here you got infinite energy. So, definitely the particular unit step signal is not an energy signal. Now, whenever a signal is not an energy signal, definitely you need to calculate power. So, for that also you need to calculate the infinite power. So, limit t tending to infinity, I want to consider 1 by 2 t. As I told you when I am giving formulas of energy and power signal, if we consider 1 by 2 t here, then we need to consider minus t 2 t here. If we consider 1 by t, then you need to consider t by 2 by t by 2. So, now here 1 by 2 t if I consider, I need to consider from minus t 2 t 
and here your signal is x square of t dt this is the uh, formula to calculate the infinite power so now i am just substituting limit t tending to infinity 1 by 2 t so here your limits are from 0 to t if you consider that is from 0 to t only so here if you consider uh, your limits that means uh, 0 to t and here you are having some x square of t means your signal that signal is equivalent to 1 so that signal is equivalent to 1 and here so that dt if you consider limit t tending to infinity 1 by 2t so if you integrated this one here you are going to get t and the limits are 0 to t so here if you consider that limits uh, substitution you are going to get like this t to infinity 1 by 2 t minus 0 so this is equivalent to this t and this t will become cancelled so here we are having t this t and this substituted t upper limit are going to cancel and uh, here limit t tending to infinity in the absence of t can vanish so now you are going to get only 1 by 2 so 0 0.5 watts power is calculated in watts 0 0.5 5 watts you are going to get as power so as you got finite power then definitely you can say an unit step signal is a power signal this is very very important question in uh, gate like technical exams so unit step function is a power signal or energy signal definitely unit step function is a power signal with power 0.5 watts so whenever power signal is there that means whenever a signal is uh, having power then uh, definitely the energy associated with that signal is equivalent to infinity so you can see we already discussed this theory in the initial classes of energy and power signal so whenever a signal is said to be a power signal definitely the energy associated with that will come like infinity so here also unit step is a power signal the energy came here is infinity so this also satisfied that relation so uh, this is how we need to calculate energy and power of a unit step signal